going on with you? All right, your, your low air alarm's ringing. How much air do you have left? First off, I have to thank 100 people. Thank you so much. As of right now, it's 100 people who subscribe to our new channel, Real Mesa. You're awesome. Thank you so much. It's not 2,000 what we had at Mesa 11, but hey, we'll take it. You guys rock. This is vlog 19. Oh my gosh. Arizona State Fire School. That's what vlog 19 was about. It's a long vlog. I know if you look at the time duration right now, you're probably like, oh my gosh, but it's worth it. Don't stop watching. Arizona State Fire School is a big deal. They have an opening ceremony, which is a big deal because they have the honor guard and they always recognize the Arizona State Firefighter of the Year. This year, the firefighter was from Mesa and we know him. And if you watch vlog seven, you know him too. So we went and captured that. We also went and saw some classes that other firefighters from across the state can come and partake in. And me and Rihanna were lucky enough to actually participate in some of these classes with them. They let us do stuff, guys. It was incredible. That's pretty much what this vlog's gonna be about, the opening ceremonies, and then seeing what classes we got to attend, what they were like, and what Arizona State Fire School's all about. Let's just get into it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm Brittany. Brittany, I know. Brianna. Brianna, I know. I'm Scott. How do you know we like coffee? Yeah, because um, <laughs> ever since that fire one uh, that you guys did, you know, we've all been stopping. Uh, What's up, man? Sure. All right. Oh, okay. We're gonna, oh, hey. You know these guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, we all stalk you guys now. Um, we're going to follow the sounds and right. find the honor guard. What's up, man? All right, right. Brittany, Rihanna. Hi, Hi ladies. Channel. Nice oh, Chief Camelli. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you got these gals here? Oh, yeah. Uh, we met in the elevator. Uh, up, <laughs> right? You know, <laughs> elevators are awesome. That's right. I, I'm Thank protecting you. him from everyone. <laughs> good. Thank you, Scott. You, he, that's good. good. Stick with Scott. Oh, yeah. He's a good guy. <laughs> okay, so our honor guard is a team of firefighters um, from all around the valley today. Uh, we have Mesa, Chandler, Surprise, Timber Mesa. We actually have folks from all over the state that come to participate in this event. Arizona Fire School is something that's been put on by the Arizona State Training Committee. Um, and it's basically an opportunity for from departments from all over the state of Arizona to come to one location and get some training that they might not otherwise be able to get at their home agency. You look very nice. Fireman of the year right now. What's up, cousin? How are you doing? You're on the vlog. Oh my gosh. That's I. That's my cousin. You don't put me on the vlog. Let's see. Where are you? You're representing Yarno. What up? Here, let me light you like a PA. <laughs> I got my light. So yeah, we're backstage right now. We're waiting for the honor guard to come down. Um, it's really loud in here. There's a lot of people. And we're just chilling. Firefighter Jesse Simpson from the Mesa Fire and Medical Department. Each of you has the power to make a difference. What are you going to do with it? What will your legacy be? Thank you for your time, service, and attention. I'm honored to accept this award, and I'm committed to honoring the values it represents. Thank you. Those. It's over. That was awesome. All right. Well, I will see you Saturday. All right. You're done with me. I'll see you Saturday morning. Bye. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're welcome. Bye bye. We're going to do some drills pretty soon. I'm kind of nervous. Morning. Hey, what's going on? 
know Glenn? The guy driving? No. He's the chief of training. I don't know Glenn. Okay. Because he acts like he knows everybody, so I don't know who knows him or not, but he definitely knows everybody. So we have Johnny Lavis, a previous firefighter of the year. Okay. Coming over. He is uh, going to get you uh, outfitted. We're driving a fire truck. I'll teach you how to drive a fire truck. What? I'll teach you how to do the event. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Did you know that? No. Oh, yeah. You're both going to be driving fire trucks today. So, can we get somebody up in the driver's seat? Yeah, they're breaking. Also, you need to be relaxed. Your back should be against the seat. When you're ready, we're not relaxed. Quick, quick, quick. Fire hour. There you go. Alright. Your turn, that's hard. What? Oh, oh, oh god. Boom! Nice work! Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. I, I, I feel like I know him. Alright. This is the vlog. Yeah, everybody knows. Oh dear. Right. Bye guys, good luck. Alright. I had Christy pick you guys out some turnouts. Okay. How big are your feet? Like six or seven. Eight. Yeah! <laughs> what up? <laughs> Eight, six. No way! That center bay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna meet you there. All right. Okay, and we're gonna get you turned out. I can drive the real thing, I'm telling you that. You can do it, I'll film you. <laughs> no way! What we have here are just basically your, your outer pieces. Um, these are the pieces that basically protect your skin. So your skin has to be 100% protected when you go inside an IDLH environment. Especially if it's heated, super heated. So, how heavy is it when you have all your gear on? We're looking at probably an additional 60 to 70 pounds. How many? 60 to 70 pounds on top of our regular body weight. <laughs> uh, SCBA is a long way, almost 30 pounds. That's crazy. So, I didn't yeah. eat my Wheaties. <laughs> now, when we test to put our gear on, we have to put it on in a minute 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's everything. That's going from this, shoes off, and yeah, putting everything like on. How do you feel? I feel like you can punch me and I won't care. Yeah. Anywhere but here. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing here. You guys want to put a pack on? No, my yeah. burn. Yeah. No, my burn. Okay, these are 29 pounds. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, okay? And you're going to pull those real tight so, that, so it rides, up, rides on the top of your head. Okay. okay? You're not, you didn't do what I asked you to do. <laughs> Rihanna, yeah. listen to your instructor. She's not listening. Am I not pulling? How do you get her to listen? Here, you I smack her a couple of times. There you go. Crushed it. I just let Rihanna go first and I learned from her mistake. Right? Yeah. How hot is it? Like literally going into fire. Uh, like, it could be you... over a thousand degrees. Are you just when like... We do training fires out here, so in a regular house fire, it could be anywhere from 1,500, 2,000, 3,000 degrees. That'd be the same as, as long as we're moving, the pass alarm won't go off. But as soon as this is still and you're, you're motionless for about 15 seconds, it'll start the pre-alarm. Mm -hmm. At 30 seconds, it goes into full alarm if we're unconscious. Uh, we'll leave that on. So it's starting to pre-alarm now. What is this? What is the rehab area? Rehab that. area? What is this? You do this first. What? I'm not doing it first. <laughs> these firefighter chicks. They're so cool. This is your firefighter. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Cool. Thank you. You are going to blow 265 gallons a minute of water. So this hose is for uh, uh, large fires, our uncompartmentalized fires. So we'll use it typically on a commercial type of fire um, or an uncontained apartment fire where we got multiple stories. We got this pretty.
shut that veil really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what did I say? We're going to rehab. Okay. Rehab. I just need tactical hose management and I needed to uh, take a little breather. Rest for a second. My thighs are burning. Uh, but now we're going to do FGS. Fireground survival. Fireground survival. Where basically you have to learn how to save yourself in different situations. FGS. This way. Clunking and clanking going on in there. Sounds like a Walking Dead episode. Come on in. We we went through a program uh, called uh, FGS Fireground Safety or Survival, and that's what you guys are fixing to do now. Um, one of them's an entanglement sort of deal that you, you manipulate your way through. That's that's what you're gonna do. There's nothing in here that you're gonna get trapped in. Nothing that's gonna that you can't get out of. If at any point you want to stop, you just tell us to stop, and then we'll we'll get you out the, the quickest and easiest way. Got that, Rihanna? Yeah. So come on in. We're gonna make an immediate left. Okay. So you can go down and under or up and over, whichever way you want to. You get Rihanna? Tighten that thing. So you just took your glove off, now your hands burned. You can't use your, you can't use your glove anymore. Really? Alright, good luck. Do you want me to take it off? No, okay. leave it on. But you, but, you, but you can't use that hand anymore. You just burned your hand up. I don't have a hand, Brittany. I'm sorry, Ariana. So, you gotta use whatever else you have, right? You have your elbows and arms you can crawl on and those things. You're gonna continue off. Uh, so you're gonna have to hold off here for a bit. Let's see what's going on with you. All right, your, your low air alarm's ringing. How much air do you have left? I have that. What's that? I have a few How are you doing, Cook? I'm fine, Dad. Right, remember, you want to try to sweep and clear, right? So it's pretty intense in here right now. Yeah, okay. But, like, I'm sweating. We are freaking out. And we're not even doing it. We're covered in sweat. We have all our gear on. And you can't move it. So, imagine trying to talk this entire time with all this noise going off. Now they got, they have to get through all this mess and then they have fire on top of them. Get you out, right? That's your exit. Time to get you out of your turnout. All right. All of our gear off and then we soak up to our forearms in an ice bucket. See what's going on over there? And what that's going to do is it's going to okay. drop your core temperature a degree and a half within 30 seconds. All right. Up above here, and then it'll cool. It'll start cooling. You'll, it'll start cooling your core. You are his recruit today. Today, you guys are going to do um, entry into a structure with a inch and three quarter inch and three quarter attack line. So 150 gallons of water a minute. And uh, we're gonna learn how to flow water low, staying underneath the smoke. Okay. <laughs> you and I, we're watching. Yeah, I like that. We're the safety guys. I like it. What happens? There's your firefighting partner. What's up? Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Well done. Well done. 
Stabilizing, cutting, spreading. You have to learn how to use these tools to your advantage. Especially when you're doing like an extrication because you're working you're, you're working around people that, that are encased in steel. So what do we got going here? Hi, I'm Brittany. Brittany, I'm Eric. Brianna. Uh, made to channel 11. Okay. Oh, we want to put them to work. Paul. Yeah, just like Logan Paul. Not as funny. Full blown, I mean, extrication where people are stuck are less common now than they were 15 yeah. years ago. Why is that? It's better cars? Car car construction is uh, has gone, you know, they, the automotive engineers have done a wonderful job uh, engineering safe zones inside of vehicles. The ladders will, will be the ones that are faced with the challenge of extrication. And, and, they're the ones that clear the way for the engine companies to treat. I know, man. Is it under your name? So we did FGS extrication, hose line management, and then we did a simulation, and now we're getting ready to go. What are we getting ready to go? We're gonna actually drive the fire truck. Okay. Go, go drive the fire truck. Yeah. <laughs> and she is truly nervous. She's been talking about it. Yeah, it's no big deal. I want to make her not nervous. Go first, and yeah, then okay. First. As long as you go first, yeah, it doesn't matter who goes first. Right. But you're not getting out of here without driving. No. All right, so let's get uh, somebody up in the front passenger, somebody in the back here. I'm ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> These trucks are pretty quick and nimble. They handle very, very well. There's nothing to be um, intimidated about, just respectful of um, these trucks. Okay, so we're gonna swap positions. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right, Ariana, can you grab this? Okay. I'm freaking out for you. Put our foot on the brake. Apply the brake. Okay. Then we're gonna press down the service brake. That releases the service brake. Now we're gonna push the D for drive. And if you brought your foot up off the accelerator or the brake, the vehicle will start accelerating on its own, just like your personal vehicle would. And now we're gonna work through. Easy. Let's put let's parallel park this. How's your parallel parking skills? Not even my car, I can't do it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. You have a 44 foot space that you're gonna back this 34 foot fire truck into. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let's go see how this looks. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna get in the back. You're. I'm you got this. You got I'm this, so girl. You're good. Rihanna. I guarantee. I believe in you. All right. Did I run over some? Yep. Oh wow, you really did. Look at the damage you did over there. Thanks, Brittany. Oh, wow. I had you. She wasn't driving. There's no other way to get out. Oh my God. Oh, look at them. You want to do something harder? Yes, she does. Sure. All right, alley dock straight ahead. So now go that way. We're gonna back into that. What? Yes, you are. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry, Cones. <laughs> oh, I've got some PVC pipes here too. 
shooting you have to avoid. Okay. More to the left, more to the left. When I say more to the left, I actually mean more to the left. Right? Okay. Oh, she missed it. She missed it. That was perfect. Oh. And left. <laughs> and you did it. You missed yes. our ball. Yes. That's strong work. There you go. Yeah. yeah so the only advice I would give you is while celebrating, the vehicle should be stopped, Put right? It back. Yeah, we don't want to yes, take our sir. hands off the steering wheel and celebrate while this the vehicle's is a big moving. Vehicle. Scott, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. This is awesome. It was my pleasure. Thank Brianna. you so much. We had so much fun. Seriously, we had a blast. Thank good. you. Thank good. you so much. Good job. Thank You're you awesome. guys. Keep up the good work. Keep what watching you? the vlogs. Yeah, right. Next oh, one. you know it. I, 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 yeah, for sure. Guys, you have no idea. It was so awesome. I could not fit every single thing in the vlog. I mean, I showed you everything we did, but way cut down, way skimmed down. It was so much fun. But to fully articulate everything and to get all the perspectives, let's get Rihanna in here like we have in the past and she can tell you her experiences because I cannot speak for her. Rihanna! Rihanna. <laughs> How'd you? You had one job. What's up? Okay, yeah. So, let's just brief recap. This is a long vlog. Keep it short. But so what, was your, what was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part was wielding the hoses. I That was such an adrenaline rush, and it was so cool to pretend I was putting out a fire. So that was my favorite part. Um, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was driving the fire truck. She kind of crushed it at driving the fire trucks. But it was so much fun. I'm what proud was, of us. I am too. I'm proud that we like did it all and So after this, what do you think about firefighters now? Oh my gosh. You truly appreciate them so much more because You guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys are great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Some people are not suited to do things that you do. We've learned. Oh, for sure. So you guys are awesome. Uh, anyone who's a firefighter, seriously, you guys are legit. Well, thanks for giving your debrief because only you can do so. You're welcome. Oh, you can't speak for me? I can, but you get mad when I do. <laughs> All right, so oh. let me, I'm just going to walk away this time. Bye. Later. Bye. So that was it, vlog 19. If you want to know more, there'll be links down to the ArizonaFireTraining.org. You can click on that. I'm also going to have a link to the Mesa Fire Medical Department if you want to click on that, learn more about the department, volunteer options, all that good stuff. The link will be below. One last thank you to the Mesa Fire Medical Department. It was so awesome. We had so much fun. We learned a lot. Not only did we have fun, but we seriously learned so much. And hopefully this vlog, if someone's interested, you learned a lot too. The Arizona State Fire School is so awesome because it teaches firefighters from across the state who don't have training options to come down once a year and receive training that might potentially help them save a life. I think it's awesome, it's a big deal, and thank you so much for putting it on every year and hosting it in Mesa. We appreciate that. Awesome. So that's it. Vlog 20 is going to be about Imagine Mesa. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Vlog 20. I'm not going to even go into it anymore because this vlog's long. And if someone's still watching, oh my gosh, you guys are still watching? All right, that's it. Thank you again. We're still smiling about it. Thanks for the swag. Thanks for the opportunity. We'll definitely be seeing the Mesa Fire Department again on this vlog, doing other drills and learning other things about them. You guys rock. This is over. Goodbye. That sucked. High five to us. We crushed it.